Hey guys, Barbara here. Welcome to Bear Panther Talk. I've got Joe with me today. Hi folks, how you guys doing? We're going to start putting tutorials here with Mr. Fix-It Joe, right? We haven't put anything at Sand Hill Boy in a long time. We're not going to put anything there anymore. We're just going to put all of Joe's repairs and whatever he builds, anything that he does, we're going to start putting here under Mr. Fix-It. So let's get right into the video. Today, Joe is going to show us how to burn a screen for silk screen t-shirts. And he's going to show us how to burn the screen with like random things that you're gonna find around your house all right so first of all Joe bought the screen from Amazon so that's not a random thing he bought the screen from Amazon because we don't want to buy like several yards of mesh yet and make screens because we don't know how deep we're gonna get into this t-shirt business thing for right now all I want to do is screen my logo onto t-shirts for the parade that we're gonna be in um, in the next um, few days so you bought the screen from Amazon what else did you get from there paint the paint or the ink and um, what's the thing called again? The squeegee. the squeegee. All right, so you're gonna also need emulsion and that's not gonna be lying around your house. So you might have to buy some emulsion and they sell that at Amazon too, but where did you get yours? From, from somebody from our prior business. Right. So for those of you that may not know, Joe has been a silk screener all his life. He's silk screened plastic bottles since 1980 to January 2017 so he knows a thing or two about making things out of scrap all right so he went and we begged one of our old time um, people from the old industry that we were in he begged them for some emulsion so now what Joe's gonna do is take us into the garage and show us all the other components that he put together this morning so that we can burn this here screen let's go that was my bad guys it doesn't start off in the garage first it starts off at the kitchen sink So that's just some regular dish washing uh, soap that he's using to wash off the screen. So what's the purpose behind that you said? Take off all the dirt and stuff so when you make the screen, you don't have a lot of little pin holes all over the screen. Okay. So you gotta take off, you gotta take all the dirt and stuff off. And pin hole causes leaks, right? Okay. Okay, folks, as you can see on this screen, you can see straight through the screen. And this one is for t-shirt, because you get more ink down on the, on the fabric. If you look at this little one right here, you can't see nothing through this. This is for balance. You gotta get less ink going through the screen. So that's the difference between a um, t-shirt screen and a uh, bottle screen. This mesh is like, uh, I would say four, like, uh, I'd say 380? Uh, 380. 380 mesh, while this is like 160. See the difference? Mm -hmm. And there's a difference in the pricing too. Right. These, This mesh used to be $67 a yard when we were in the industry. Right. Versus this, this is probably about $13. $13 a yard. Big difference. So he's cutting a small piece of this construction paper, the project paper. Because I don't have a tray, I just want to pull out a little bit. Like all the way here. Something like that. And you washed your squeegee already? Mm -hmm. You come over here. So we don't have an exposure unit anymore because we sold it when we closed the business. But you guys are just going to be so happy when you see what we're going to use. 
All right, guys, we can't have too much light hitting this, but I just wanted you to see. So this is now totally dry. It's hard, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a drum. So for the artwork, we had it professionally done by a friend from the industry because this artwork is actually a two color artwork and we needed it to be separated. But if you have a one color artwork, you can do that yourself with an inkjet printer or a laser printer and overhead transparency film from Walmart, all right? These lines right here is where you line up the artwork to make it into one. Mm -hmm. And you might say, well, Barbara, why did you even have the girls separate? Well, because in the future, I'm gonna have two color logo on this stuff. But for right now, we're just gonna do one. Okay. And then show us your the rest of this is the exciting part for me, Joe, because I just love how your mind thinks. Okay, this uh, I use a piece of uh, plywood. Piece of plywood, put right? Put it in the, the size of the screen, a little bit smaller than the screen. Mm -hmm. I take. Um, this is some batting that I bought to make uh, a handbag. I could use a if you get any kind of a sponge or whatever thicker, and it's just memory foam pillow. You could cut a. It foam. could work. It's just that this side I got, so this is what okay. I'm using. All right. So I can put this here. Mm-hmm. And here. What was the dark thing you had there just now? And then I got... This is two mouse pads and I cut it with each other. All right, these mouse pads are blank because we were going to silk screen them, or I mean heat transfer stuff onto them. Oops. But you need... You need, you need something dark. Dark. So you need something dark. And you can't use trash bags because it's going to burn. And what's this lamp for? This is going to be your exposure unit? This is my exposure unit. Okay. Got. Okay. So... Put this screen. This is going to be the head. We gotta put the film on the outside. So we gotta and you're gonna be outside. So we flip it this way. This is the way you're gonna be on the shirt, right? Yes. Right? So that's the way we want it to show. Right. Okay. So we flip it back over. And we're gonna put it here. And we're gonna center it. Gotta be centered. Mm-hmm. And now we're gonna put out our now, what is this piece of glass? It's just to hold it down. So now, could, what is it? Where did you get it from? Oh, it's a, 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 a picture frame. <laughs> it's a glass from an old picture frame. That's why you see the picture is on it. We're going to use this to, just to hold it down. This was um, tooling for the printing machines yeah. we used to own. Just something to apply weight. You can use some dumbbells. Use anything. Anything that's heavy. You got to have enough weight to hold it down because you don't want the light to get underneath the the artwork. So we gotta so make sure that it looks pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Not popping up. Because you don't want the light to get on the artwork because that's gonna cause a problem. Okay, we'll set a timer for four minutes, guys. You notice this lamp is right on it. How do you know it's in there? How do you know if it's in the screen? You'll see? Okay, listen to the timer, guys. But we actually went um, four plus two plus five. How much is that? Six, 11 minutes. I don't see nothing. Is that how it's supposed to be? Huh? Okay, so we're going to wash it out now. So he's shooting the screen. He's exposing it now. Oh, no. This show to show this this showed to me that you should still go you could have gone more. It could have gone for a longer time. Yeah. So we went 11 minutes, so what, maybe 14, 15 minutes? So the spot where the lamp was sitting, the emulsion is still there, but all the rest of it, the emulsion disappeared. So he's just patching with more emulsion and he's gonna dry it with the blow dryer. All right guys, so Joe got some of the emulsion on his shirt and that's why he used to normally wear an apron when we used to have the shop, but he's not gonna wear one of my pretty aprons here. <laughs> so um, 
I, I wanted to make this tutorial just in case you wanted to start up your t-shirt business and you're not sure you want to get into all the expense of all the things that you have to buy right off the bat or even if you just want to put your logo onto something you know you have a little cupcake business and you like to screen your logo here or something you know what to do so stay tuned for the next mr. fix it video because Joe's going to show us uh, how he screens a t-shirt with this homemade t-shirt machine that he made out of what stuff lying around the house right right Stuff lying around the house. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for watching. Joe, say something before the people say I don't let you talk. Thank you folks for spending time with me and going through my little stuff. Thank you for spending time in his brain. I'd really like for them to open him up and see what goes on in his brain because this is the most innovative man that I've ever known. He's so instinctive about, oh, I can fix that. Let's do this. You know, Let's do that. So I really appreciate the partner that God has given me. Anyways, guys. We'll see you next video. Bye. Bye, bye folks. They call me Quick Fix Joe. So what I do? But if you take a look at this one, it's on. Finally, fish. Look at this face, though.